Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be talking all about my product empties, things that I have used so much that they are actually gone and empty. And I'm gonna share with you if I would repurchase them, if I love the product, if I thought it was kind of too expensive, but I used it because I had it. You know, like you're gonna get the detailed information on what was great and what was kind of just so-so. Product empties, hell yes. I don't know why I find this so hilarious that every single empties video, maybe not every, but at least every other one, there is a caress body wash passionate spell. Oh my God, this stuff smells so good. When I first started recommending it, people were tweeting me and they're like, it's changed my life. I love this body wash. If you have not tried this particular fragrance, it's out of this world, it is so good. You guys already know I love this, so we're moving on. I did recently put to the test this Dr. Brandt Dual Fusion Water. This is a cleanser and makeup remover for face and eyes, and this is the Extend Your Youth, so I believe it has some anti-aging properties going on. It's nice, it's great, but all in all, I'm not gonna repurchase it. This one is just kind of meh, meh, meh and it's really expensive. So I um, used it because I had it, but no thank you. This is from Philip B. This is the Russian Amber Imperial Volumizing Mousse. Oh my God, this is so good. It is $19 for this little teeny tiny travel thing, uh, which is a total ripoff. It always works that way. All like the teeny tiny hairsprays and mousses and just travel stuff. Why is it always so expensive? Anyway, long story short, I didn't want to commit to the full bottle because it was so expensive and I picked this up at Namie's, used it one time and immediately was just like, oh my gosh, so much volume going on in my hair. I cannot even believe this. It is really, really good. It smells beautifully of amber and I love this. I think I need to go and pick up a full size. I'm out of my Mac Fix Plus, go figure. I take a shower in this stuff on a day-to-day -day basis. I use like 20 pumps. I wish I was exaggerating, but I'm not, so I always go through these. I recently shared with you guys that I did purchase a full-size bottle of this bad boy. This is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, and this stuff is just so good. It makes you look incredible, even if you're having like flat, crappy hair, and you're like, oh my gosh, I want to go out tonight, and I don't have time to restyle anything. All you do is literally flip your hair upside down, give it a good spray, zhuzh everything up, and all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh bombshell amazing i have volume texture there's just something about this product that is so good so i went through so many small travel sizes like this before i finally bit the bullet and purchased the large bottle this is the one makeup item that i do go through because i use it for baking and i use it every single day and i'm so hooked on it this is the laura mercier translucent powder i already have a new one it's just like when this goes out it's like back in rotation immediately it's a really great setting powder Ooh, this cleanse this cleanser is so nice because it removes all of your makeup. It makes your face feel just very squeaky clean. It just feels so clean and just nice, but it's not dried out and it's not overly um, moisturizing or just leaving like a tacky feeling at all. It just really gently, beautifully cleanses the skin. This is from Shiseido. This is the Buki Gentle Cleanser. I Buki. I already have a new one. I literally, this is like, it, it's so empty. I would be like, ah, like I had half a mind to like take scissors to it and cut it open and like squeeze like the little bits out. You know you love a product when that happens. When you are in like desperation mode and you are willing to like bust out the scissors and like get what little bit is left in there, like that's a winner. That cleanser has been a favorite for about six months now. I do switch up my skincare. I kind of look at what's going on and see what my skin needs and I have a lot of cleansers on hand. So that one is the one I'm most consistent with, but I do kind of play around with other stuff too. So it lasted me a long time. I'm sure if I was using it every day, twice a day, I would have gone through it much more quickly. Isn't this like the prettiest blue? This is the Flawless Skin Tonic. This one is said to tighten your pores and hydrate, and I love this. It smells so nice and fresh, and I just like using a toner. Some people don't like to. I find that my skin feels really good when I do, so this had been the one I was reaching for the most. This is a hand wash that is entirely way, way, way too expensive. This is from Philip B as well, same brand as this hair care. Philip B products are out of this world. They are so good. Um, this is the Lavender Hand Wash, and this was a gift, so I didn't go and buy myself this crazy luxury hand soap, but now that I went through a whole thing, I'm like itching. I'm like, oh my god, I want, I want this hand soap so bad, you know, but it's, it's 
$30 for hand soap? I just, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it smells really heavenly. You guys know I complain all the time that I have an issue with my hands getting really dry. That's just been a lifelong issue for me. And this one did not irritate my skin at all. And it smells so good. It's just foamy and wonderful. And I reached the point of desperation where you're like, oh man, it's all gone. And you like fill half the thing up with water and you're like, look, I just made more soap. Um, so I went through a little moment of that and now I just, I need to say goodbye to it, but it was, it was fun while it lasted. I need another bottle of Tokyo Milk Dark ASAP Tainted Love. This is the best perfume ever out of all of my fragrances. And I'm a bit of a princess when it comes to fragrance. I like smelling good. I just, I really enjoy, not even for other people, which kind of sounds rude, but for me, like I enjoy putting on my perfume and being like, like, ooh, it smells so good. Um, and it puts me in a better mood and I feel just better. It smells like pipe tobacco, but really sweet and sexy at the same time. You really need to experience this. Just smell it. Just trust me, go to Sephora and smell this. It is so heavenly. Ran out of this and immediately felt like my skin was going to crap. So this is from SkinCeuticals. This is the Hydrating B5 Gel. If you have finicky skin in the sense that it is dehydrated, but kind of oily at the same time, it's a little bit like, whoa, I don't know what I wanna be. Am I oily, am I dry? But it's not just like combo, like, oh, I have dry patches and oily here. It just kind of morphs into this weird situation everywhere. And if you use super hydrating products, you break out. That had been my issue forever. And this serum really helped my skin so much. I have repurchased this, I think five times over. It is so nice. I alternate between the Image Hydrating B5 and this one right here from SkinCeuticals. It's just such a nice hyaluronic acid serum that really attracts moisture to your skin, plumps things up, and just makes your skin look really pretty and feel really hydrated with like no grease. I almost don't wanna show this on camera because it's disgusting actually. This is filthy. Um, this... <laughs> This is from Kerastase. This is a mask that is so good, oh my God. Um, wow, I really like got in there and really used every last little bit, jeez. Um, this one I had for a good like eight months and I would use this quite frequently. I try to put like a deep conditioner on my hair at least once a week and kind of let it do its thing in the shower for, you know, five minutes and then rinse it out. And this one is just a beautiful, beautiful product, Kerastase. They always do good. Um, and this is the Mask Density. Densifique. Yeah, I'm botching that, I'm sure. Oh my God, my favorite toothpaste ever in my life. I love this stuff so much. I'm out of it and I'm actually so sad because I'm out of it. I'm getting a little bit desperate. This one has like a tiny bit left in it and I'm like, oh, come out. Um, this is the Marvis Ginger Mint. I don't know. I did not think that toothpaste could change my life, but it did. It made brushing my teeth so much more enjoyable and makes your whole mouth feel just like so minty and clean and wonderful. It gives you really fresh breath too, and it's just nice. Oh. Okay, I go through these way more than anyone should, probably because I don't sleep enough. I need to work on that. Um, these are the Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. I will even keep these in the fridge. I tend to get puffy eyes really easily if I eat too much salt, if I cry. Like it's to the point where I'll get emotional and I'll be like watching a movie and I'm like, Ugh. you know, I can feel myself like getting like, oh, I'm gonna cry. And I will warn myself in my head. I'll be like, don't do it. Don't do it. You know, you get puffy. Don't do it. So I'll like hold it in, but not always. And when I don't hold it in, I use these. So I have long loved these little eye patches. They're wonderful. And then I recently tried the Hydro Cool Firming Face Gels. Um, I wish I had some left so that I could show you how ridiculous I look with these on. I mean, you do not want to see your boyfriend when you are wearing this crap on your face. Let me just like say that. I look like Hulk Hogan or something because you put on the lines right here like these white strips. 
just looks ridiculous. Um, but they work so incredibly well. It just kind of plumps and softens. And if you have kind of like the crepey, dry, dehydrated thing going on on your forehead, maybe you're traveling, you've been up in the air and things are just looking kind of haywire, one of these patches will really just bring your skin back to life. I am such a fan of these. This is from SK2. This is a facial treatment essence. This is like a very hyped up product. I don't really understand why. Uh, just saying, I mean, this is like a hundred dollar toner, I think. Are you? What are you? Why? Um, I got this in a Sephora favorites kit with a bunch of skincare and I was really excited to use it because I heard so many amazing things about it. But to be honest, I was kind of just like, okay, facial essence, you know, now I put my moisturizer on. It didn't seem to do anything that crazy. Um, maybe that's just me. And then this from Bobbi Brown. Oh my goodness. Once I run out of my current um, eye makeup removers, like more oily eye makeup removers, I think I am going to buy this. It's really, really good. It is the long wear makeup remover really gets your eye makeup off. If you have that like annoying, like will not remove waterproof eye situation going on, this is really good. Everybody's bored to pieces of seeing this. This is my cinema secrets, but I clean my brushes religiously. I spot clean them all the time. And I feel like that helps me get a better makeup application, especially with shadow. So I do tend to go through that pretty quickly. As far as mascara, my Dior show iconic overcurl, it's done. This has passed the three month mark and I'm still using my Chantecaille that I love. Uh, and I think I think I am gonna repurchase that one. So I'm not gonna repurchase the Dior, but that was like my holy grail favorite for a long time. That is a great mascara. And then I have a tinted moisturizer that I used up. This is from Jouer. This is the Luminizing Moisture Tint SPF 20 and it is oil free. This is just your perfect, like I'm in a rush, but I want my skin to look so amazing, but not mask it. This is perfection and I actually apply it with a beauty blender and it works out fantastically. This stuff I probably overused, actually not probably, I know I overused. I would be like pump, 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 pump because I just wanted like a big puff of like bubbles. I feel like a really beautifully scented shower gel makes showering so much more enjoyable and I will just be like sudsing up and I just love that it kicks off a ton of fragrance. This smells so much like Laura Mercier's pistache. It is crazy, it is so good, oh my gosh. It's very warm, so it kind of feels like moving into spring. This might not be what I'm drawn to the most, but I have to say Soap & Glory body washes are so freaking good and very affordable. You can find them at the drugstore now. Those are all the products that I have used up, and I hope that you enjoy product empties. Let me know that you do by giving this video a thumbs up, and I will keep doing this every three-ish months or so. I hope you're having a wonderful day, whatever you are doing. Thank you so much for hanging out, guys. I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.